special guest. He founded a company way back when I first met him, it was called Adrenaline Agency. And that was back in 2012 or 2013 when I was running my own startup. But currently he's the commercial director for Albion Media Limited, trading as YoTV. And he is none other than Mark Ivan Cheyune. Welcome to the Wow Factor podcast. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sam. How are you, Sam? I'm doing great. It's been a good mm. week. I how, know, I know. how have you been? I've been well. Uh, challenging. Uganda is not easy, but yes, but we're good. We're good. Oh, that's good to hear. So as we kick start this, so the audience can get to know you better. So who is Ivan? <clears throat> yes, um, I'm a Ugandan, uh, married, uh, 38 years old. Um, I'm an accomplished uh, commercial professional with, with, with over 15 years experience in, in telecoms, technology-based products, in, in, in different fields, sales, marketing, uh, business. I'm yeah, also a chartered marketer um, at, uh, at the Chartered Institute of Marketing UK. Um, hold the uh, bachelor's degree in business administration at Macquarie University. Yes, so right now I'm, I'm here. Um, um, currently, I'm the commercial director for a company called Alban Media that launched a product, a very unique product on this market called Your TV Channels. So yes, so we've been in this, doing this for a while, and um, it's interesting. It's 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 uh, challenging, but but yes, it is it is fun as well. Very very fun. Oh, that's that's good to hear. So I, I, as I hear that you're a chartered marketer and you've run your own business before, would you give us a background mm. on your on your take? What do you think? Do you think that school is important or people should just straight away venture into setting businesses? Um, I think school is 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 important to a certain degree uh, because um, when you look at it, uh, some specialized skills that we that, that we, we are looking out for sometimes. And, and those skills, unfortunately, you can only get them from, from, uh, from, from school education. So, and, and also when you realize that when you're starting out, when you're young, you need, you need particular basic skills in reading, writing, um, socializing, building net, networks. Um, some of the networks I still have to this day are from school and they help out a lot. Yeah, but also there are so many different subjects and, and particular topics that that uh, that requires a school education, uh, special skills in science, and and all this. But that is as far for me that uh, as far as you need school education because as an entrepreneur that uh, the, the the field I've been in for the longest time. You realize school education can only take you so far. It's the, the, the business acumen that that is innate in you is what basically drives you. And um, and, and and I mean, uh, when you look at it, uh, the the businessmen, uh, for example, in Uganda that are doing proper business, most of them don't have a don't have school education. They have the best. Probably they went to school for 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 a few years. But later on, they failed to, to pay school fees and they left school. Now those are the guys that, that are doing proper, proper business in this country. And now they, they are the ones employing um, um, people with masters. And, and you know, Because now those that get these degrees and, uh, and, and, and PhDs are the ones that are, are looking for employment. While those that, uh, that don't have uh, the, 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 the degrees and the PhDs and the masters, now those are the ones that are doing that are doing businesses. So, so yeah. So I, when I look at my entrepreneurship um, journey, I yes, I I use my I've used my uh, my CV in a couple of places, yes, here and there. But then you realize most of the times it's because of the networks you've built in your previous uh, employment uh, life. But then also the work that you do on a daily, it keeps you, it keeps bringing business back to you, and it has nothing to do with education. The the only thing that 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 you gain from education is the ability to read, the ability to write, the ability to um, 
to get this uh, the ability to have these basic skills that that you picked up in school but then thereafter there has some there has to be something unique about you that will that will propel you from business a to business b to help you go from this stage in life to the next stage in life and that's the one thing that that i think we are all looking out for uh, i personally stopped going going for further studies uh, because i realized uh, where I was, um, the people that were giving us business, uh, the, uh, the people who are powerful enough to, who basically have the kind of um, wealth that we are looking for, they do not have, um, probably some of them have a degree, yes, but that's it. But they, they, the way they do business, the way they are able to, to move from one stage to another with less, uh, with, with less, um, with 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 um with the degrees they 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 they, they gathered um, so many years ago uh, you know it it makes you think that I, that, that uh, yes i think what i need right now let me stick in here let me do business let me be trusted in business let me be the let me let me be dependable let me be the kind of uh, businessman that um, that even when I'm not around, they'll be asking for this one person that, uh, you know, that delivers. And that is, I believe that is what um, is, is, is about an entrepreneur. And, 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 and if you want to start business, now those are the skills that you need to gain. And, and, and to, that, to that point, um, you know that as the school, the, school uh, the, the knowledge you get from school, has taken you so far. The rest was was you as a person. So what I'm picking from me that at least school is good for mm -hmm. giving you the basic foundation and as well giving you at least initial network of people that you know uh, to kickstart maybe yes. your, your ventures. Mm, that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm also in mm -hmm. agreement. I, I believe that school, yes, will provide you with at least the first set of people that you ever interact with, you'll give you some basic skills. Maybe you'd enhance on your communication skills from there because of interacting with people uh, of different levels. And as well, also you learn the basics. At least you learn marketing at at a, at a fundamental level of the basics. But the actual practical practical marketing, you learn it in the field. That's true. Yeah. That's so, true. So you you you. Mm. Uh, you're the commercial director of your TV. Um, what is your TV and why was it founded? Yes, so your TV is, uh, is a product uh, operating on, uh, on a mobile app or that is iOS um, and, and Android, but also on web. Uh, the idea here, we're, we're looking to set up um, uh, a media outlet, uh, if you like. Uh, so basically, uh, the product is built and premised on local entertainment and global viewership. Um, so what we basically do is we est we extend uh, Uganda's content to a global audience. So what we did is we went around, we digitized Uganda's content. So before we started, um, there was no particular product on this market where you'd find all Uganda's TVs and radios. Uh, so we needed to, so TVs and radios were there and people were streaming on, on, on Facebook, on YouTube. And some, and, and the way we know Ugandans consume content, if you can't give it to them on one single app, then as I want this product, this particular program on this channel, you think about it. So now after this particular hour, I have to look for the other, for the other link or for the other app or for the other you know channel on on youtube or facebook so it's it for us we we saw there was an opportunity there so basically what we did we brought okay so when we started we realized we also had uh customers who who want to consume premium content so maybe see al jazeera sky cnn and, uh, bloomberg these now these premium channels so we said let's bring all ugandan channels TV, radio, but then also bring the premium channels. So 
And, and as we were doing that, we realized when we were start, uh, starting out, um, the customers that were consuming, that were downloading our app and, 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 uh, and streaming uh, using our app, were mostly in the diaspora. Um, but, then, but then we said, now we need to anchor our product home. So, so yes, yeah, so we said, let's, let's find a way of doing that. And, uh, and, and yes, yeah, so, and then, uh, so, okay. So the company was started in 2015, in March, 2015. Uh, so that whole time we were still testing it. Uh, we had a couple of issues, latency, you know, as this customer is watching um, a particular program on, on, on your, using your app, you realize it's a few seconds. It was actually up to, a minute or two back, but for the person who's watching it on uh, on TV, it 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 was um, it it was it the the the, the lag the lag was big. So we realized now we needed to to improve on our systems on the delivery of content. Now that's that required us to invest a lot more money in 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 um, in basically the infrastructure, which we did not have at, at that point in time. So we had to do a lot of that. Um, and um, so uh, we realized, yes, we have the diaspora market. Ugandans living and working in the diaspora. That's a huge market. But, but then there's a bigger time. I think we had about 5 million smartphones in this country, about 5 million at the time. So uh, we had to find a way of uh, running to, to seek out for partnerships. And um, one of the doors that we knocked on was for one of the biggest networks in Uganda called MTN, and, um, and 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 at that time we were looking for a partner that can help us. Uh, we can work with to to find a way of bundling our pricing because here when you buy a GB, and then you you tell a customer also to pay subscription uh for for your content it becomes uh, expensive for the market or the, for the for the for the average ugandan so the idea there was find a partner in 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 a network like mtn bundle your pricing with theirs come up with one pricing reduce make it as cheap as possible for the average ugandan and then and 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 then and and then test it out so what that's basically what we did. So we did that for a period. So on the 10th of February uh, last year, 2020, we launched. We launched and, um, and, and, and what we basically did, we said, now let's launch this product. Let's, if a customer comes to us, we give you a free month of, you don't pay any, 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 anything on, in terms of data. You don't pay anything in terms of subscription. Enjoy using our app and consuming content for a full month. After that one month, we'll give you, we'll charge you a fee, very, very cheap. The cheapest you'll ever find. Uh, and um, so for a month, you pay you, you, you pay 10,000 shillings, which is basically what, about $3 for a month to consume, uh, not just Uganda. So we have about, right now we have about 90 TVs and radio stations. Um, we have about 15 premium channels. We have movies. We have so much. So when you look at our app, it's 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 loaded with content. Uh, and then when you tell someone first enjoy the free month, after the free month, pay subscription of, of ten thousand, which is uh, basically around three dollars to cons to the, and that's it. You pay. That's you don't have to. You don't need data to stream. You don't pay anything else. But then we also give you. A, a, a weekly uh, package for the for a week, which is two thousand five hundred. That's about zero point seven cents of a dollar, I think. Then then you have a daily package, which is a thousand, which is also like zero point three cents of a dollar. Then you even have an hourly package, which is five hundred shillings. You know, less than one cent. So you're looking at a Ugandan who was used to watching TV. In their sitting rooms on on a TV set, and you're telling them now switch to your mobile phone because the smartphones we have right now currently we have about we have close to eight million smartphones on this market. So you're telling uh, eight million people that you know what as you have TV in your sitting room or in your bedroom, as you as your new daily grind either at work um, wherever you are, 
just just have your mobile ready download the app watch and then we give you more features you can pause tv you can rewind tv you can do catch up basically you can you can find all your programs recorded for the last five days on your now app so we were basically and you and, and i think this is uh, this is common everywhere we have prime time with tv so in uganda prime time is between 7 and 10 pm so basically well so one of the messages we're giving uh, we're telling our customers we are going to redefine prime time now you don't have to rush home uh to say that i need to watch this program uh, far from it just stay do what you do even if you get home at midnight you can go back uh, two hours three hours back watch what you missed if, even if you sell watch it tomorrow you can even record it if you want to you record it on the app so it's been a journey, a very interesting journey, and uh, and the lessons we picked out from the day we, we 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 incorporated the company to the day we launched was data was expensive. People couldn't afford data in this country, uh, but also we needed to understand uh, how best we can price the our product, how best we can distribute this product. And, um, and and I think we have done a very good job because um, at, 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 I, I, at this point in time, we have we have over we have close to about six hundred and seventy thousand subscribers on on our on, on, on our app. Over six hundred and seventy thousand. That number is so big in this country, Uganda. And this is one year uh, because we launched in February last year in july so yeah year and a half so we've been able to do this much business and i tell you by ugandan standards this is a very very big mark yeah but there are challenges as well but 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 we think we have uh, we have done a very good job so uh, that is quite the story i love the fact that you you tailored the pricing to suit the, the ugandan needs because Definitely the biggest challenge is buying data and buying, uh, again, another subscription is always going to be more of, the person would not be sure of, should, if I've bought the one GB, one time to watch YouTube instead of paying for, again, for your TV. So at least I love the right. fact that you've, you've put the two together and then the, the people will be able to have, this, it's quite very affordable because even 10,000 for a month is really, mm. really very, a very fair rate. So apart That's from true. those other challenges that you mentioned, uh, in terms of the pricing and the infrastructure, were there any others that you found along the way or the ones that you're facing at the moment? And do you have any probable solutions for, for those? Yes, uh, one of the biggest challenges, and uh, it's it's not just us, it's it's most most uh, most of the, the businesses that start here. Um, for one, we, we're fully Ugandan establishment. All the shareholders, everyone who's involved in this is Ugandan. So, one of the biggest challenges we had was funding. Uh, so, remember when we launched in February, uh, about a month after, a month or two, about a month uh, when COVID nineteen happened, and 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 that that was 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 a big challenge. It was uh, there were opportunities as well. I mean, people were home and uh, they needed to consume content. So. They were looking for the next best thing, and uh, that's where we are telling them we are present. But then we were not ready, um, so we got we got so many challenges. I mean, um, in the customers came to us in 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 big numbers, eh? and they found that we were not ready for the numbers that hit us, and we started getting issues with the, with buffering the the content would buffer a bit. There were so many issues, and. Uh, with streaming businesses, you realize that when you lose a customer, it's hard to get them back. Because if I'm watching this program and and I'm and I'm enjoying it, it buffers. I'm looking. I will go back to TV. And to get me back to the app, that customer will actually de de delete the app immediately. And when you lose that customer, it's very hard to get that customer back. So we struggled. Um, uh, so the, the, that was a challenge. But also funding, eh? we we were not uh, were not um, we re we needed to have a, a very good funding partner because what we basically were doing were were trying to 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 pull resources from everywhere just to ensure that we keep the doors open. 
Uh, that became a challenge because uh, in that, uh, when we were going through COVID-19, um, money was hard to get, it was hard to get uh, funding. So we had to, to find a way of working. Um, we had to be frugal. But then also we had to seek out for partnerships. So one of the things that I did, I said, you know what? I don't have money to mark for marketing. I don't have budgets for mark for anything really. Uh, let me just look out for partnerships. So I went met met with um, the partners. They had we had uh, TV radios, all of them telling them, you know what? I want you to promote your channel. I want you to promote your your programs on my app because on, on when you promote your programs on my app i'm able to give you things that you don't get anywhere else i give you analytics for free then i'm also able to promote you i'll put budgets to, to promoting your content on on the app and and then i was also telling them that you know what customers actually consuming they are going to start consuming more of your content on my app than on the tv than on Facebook, YouTube, because there you need to customer needs data to consume it on those on those platforms. But using mine, they don't need data. I'm giving them so much, so they are going to come to me. So this is a time to invest in 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 uh, in promoting your channel, your content on my app. So those are the kind of partnerships that I went out for, and they helped. But again, it did not take away the challenges that we had with. Um, with, with systems and uh, it required us to go out there looking for funding, which is not very easy on, on, on this market in Uganda. Uh, it's not very easy. So we needed, uh, we needed to approach a f uh, a funding opportunities out of Uganda, which still wasn't easy. So to this debt, we, we didn't, we were not successful, um, but then we've been able to do a very good job with what we have because we are able to find a way of pulling resources from other uh, things that we do here, and we're able to invest in, in, in building uh, better systems. Right now, the app is doing so well. And yeah, we've been able to survive and we have done a very good job. Uh, the customers are coming in every day. We get an average of, uh, of 2,700 new customers every day. And yet we don't have any marketing, any marketing out there. We're not doing any promotion or, uh, promotions out there. We're just basically promoting content we have on the app, and that's it. And that's it. And yet, uh, prior, our plan was we needed to. We were supposed to be in places. I mean, we have. Uh, we Uganda is a country of over fifty tribes, so we needed to be in all corners of this country to trying to seek for opportunities, trying to talk to people, telling them about this stuff, trying to bring content. So the idea also was to see how best we bring content from all parts of the country, in, in the East, in the North, in the West Central, bring all this content onto the app in their different dialects, bring it on the app and let people consume this content. So basically what we built was, is, 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 is the real estate that that uh, content owners can just come and, and and drop content on promote your content let it be consumed cheaply uh, and, and you can't you, you can't do better than that so the challenges are there but then uh the solutions were also there it just needed us to think and find ways of uh, of of, uh, of 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 working with what we have and and making it work for us and i think i think we've done a very good job so far Big but thumbs, it's also a big thumbs up for sorry, that. Yeah, also, also one of the challenges we haven't fixed. We have a very big diaspora market. Uh, I, the last time I checked, we had about uh, about three. It's, I think it's over three million Ugandans uh, who are working and uh, who are working and living in, in the diaspora, but they're Ugandans and they love to consume Ugandan content. So that is one of the challenges that we haven't uh, yet covered because we have not done a very, we have not done much that, that, that far. We say, let's first fix what we have here. Those that are, that, that are out there that can uh, consume our content and, uh, and, they, and they get to know about us before we promote ourselves to them then let, let them come to us. But we haven't yet done a very good job as far as uh, as uh, the diaspora market is concerned. Yeah, and I saw your packages. I think it's what, 53 euros uh, per year or something like that per month for uh, the diaspora package? 
that uh, yes so the diaspora package we 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 we, we so the first first of all we give you um the first uh, the first month with a promotional pricing of one euro thereafter you you can pay a month you can pay for three months six months or one year so a month is five euros three months is 14 euros six months is 26 euros and, and the year is 50 euros so uh, when you change, when you're using your, when you're using the app, it's able to change this pricing to the different currencies that uh, that are out there. So you can choose to pay for for um, using dollars. So it's basically five euros uh, using the exchange rate of our of our supplier. So we basically chooses the exchange rate and it's able to offer you the pricing in in dollars. Uh, but yes, the pricing is is quite quite low. We think. For the kind of content that we give you, uh, so actually um, beyond that, we we also partnered with the local content company um, called Palwood. They basically film producers of Uganda. Uh, we partnered with them, so you're able to consume Ugandan Ugandan film, and you won't find it anywhere else right now. So we they're no longer doing any distribution on DVDs they're now digitizing it and it's on your now app so so imagine you pay you pay um, a month five euros but then you have all tvs all radios uh, you have movies you have local movies you have you you, you basically have so much uh, at the at the fingertips of your of, of, of your fingers so yeah so is that the package is called shivanda express that has the yes, Ugandan movies? Yes, Chivanda Express has Ugandan movies, yes. Great, good, good. I saw the advert and I was like, Chivanda Express. <laughs> so it did, till I put two and two together, I realized that that's the, the, the Ugandan movies mainly. Yes, you're right, that's Ugandan movies. So uh, according to you, the Ugandan digital media content access, mainly on video streaming, how would you, mm judge what the what do you think it is is like what's, what do you think the framework is like at the moment or the, the what is the foundation like at the moment and what do you think should be improved so that we can increase the digital media access especially for video streaming and audio streaming okay yes yeah. so um i i know uh, uh video streaming and uh, and and digital content um the, 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 uh, consumption has been on the increase. Um, for example, last year, um, the stats that we got from one of our partners was 51% of the content that was consumed was 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 digital content, was media media content, and um, and which was interesting. Um, now, what's what's happening is, and and I think this is what is going to to help to improve and um, and increase growth in, in, in this space. Smartphones are becoming cheaper. Um, I mean, right now on the market, you'd 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 find smartphones for less for about um, I think there are smartphones for six for seventy dollars. You know, so there are smartphones that are very cheap on this market. You know, um, uh, and then data is, has also been has been becoming cheaper and cheaper over the years. Uh, although right now there's been um, an additional 12% tax on data bundles, uh, the government in their wisdom chose to, to, to put uh, another tax on data bundles and yet for the longest time data bundles have been going down in terms of cost. So yeah, so I think these uh, the smartphones uh, have been really, really going down. Uh, data has been going down in terms of cost so these are the two things i feel um that will that that will help uh, improve on, on growth of uh, of of, um, of of content streaming and video streaming um because again um what utv has done and what i think it we needed to be around uh, was to see how best we can provide a tool a platform we are content providers who are many by them in this country and, and i know it's the same across content producers are many but they're looking for a place where they can uh, 
the, the put their content and monetize it you know it's because it's becoming harder to monetize on youtube because of that new tax that was uh, it's uh, yeah that it's i don't know if it's a tax that was introduced for for content owners on youtube um you you basically don't have many places where you can develop your content then earn from it so that is what your tv is here to do and um so we've been we've been trying to talk to event organizers to talk to different people it's telling them that you know what uh, times are changing huh? so let's see how best we can develop content um put it on on as on 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 as uh, video streaming distribution app like your tv channels promote your content then we'll help you monetize it and we can do a, a, a revenue share where you get to earn you probably earn 70 percent of that comes so we only keep a little we could discuss basically just do a very good job in having quality content and then for us we'll do the monetizing so i think i think the journey we've been on is quite an interesting journey and i know over the next five years or so this is going to be um, an interesting business and it's, it's it can only grow it can only grow Wow, that's great. That's great. I look forward to seeing concerts live on the UTV app. Are, are those any? Are, are there any in the pipeline? Yes, uh, something we're trying to do with our partner that we were unable to pull off last year, but I know this year we may do something. Uh, there's some uh, some awards uh, that our partner has been doing, and uh, it's called the Hip Hop Awards. Um, but also there have been other concerts like Black and Sapphire and Wines. Um, th those are partnered with another with another uh, with another TV station that was not on our app. But yes, we have an appetite for that. Customers are looking for that, and I think um, before the end of this year, we'll have our maiden concert on the app. On one of our channels so one of the things that we do also we, we've done is we develop our own local local channels so we developed a local channel called Muziki 256 which basically plays Ugandan music 24 7 so we think so we, we know we're going to start um we're going to put some local concerts on the app and we'll invite Ugandans to 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 go because then now there, there, will, there won't be any concerts again this year so I'll tell you, Ghanans, we know you've missed out over the last two years, but you can find this concept on your on your app in your sitting room. Just download the app. Just be ready. Have popcorn with you. Just you know, just get ready to to consume the concert in your sitting room or in your bedroom. Nice, nice. That's really great. So, um, what what do you think should be done to boost the adoption of local content for the Ugandan audience? Mm, yeah, very good question. Um, well, I, for me, I see we need to invest more in, uh, in, in local production. I tell you, we, there's the, the quality of content uh, on the market um, is, is we still have a long way to go. So there has to be um, investment in local production uh, in terms of equipment, production quality, platforms, promotion. There's there's a lot that has to go in, uh, and 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 that's where we we have helped, but we need more. We need more partners to come in. Um, I know MTN and, and UTV channels. Is, so we've created this space uh, where local film can be packaged under uh, what you what what you uh, what what you refer to earlier, Chivanda Express. So what we've done is to create this this tool, this platform where now local film can be accessed accessed cheaply and conveniently. Um, and 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 the other thing is so the other thing that we have done to help uh, in in in, um, in in boosting local content is all revenues that come so for you to consume this this movie uh, this local film you pay a thousand shillings uh, which is what uh, barely barely three cents it's 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 very cheap eh? um so when you consume when you purchase this movie all the money that you've paid goes to 
the local film production company. All of it, we don't keep anything. So we said, we won't take anything from you, no revenue share, everything that comes to the, to the coffers goes straight to you. And, and, and we think we need, we need more of this to happen. So we need investment to go in. And, and we know the future is bright. So I, I, I think investment is, 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 uh, is needed. But also, I, think, I feel there's a part that government has to play in, 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 uh, in helping local production. I mean, we've had stories of some countries where government, um, through their ministries, uh, the ministry in charge of, um, of culture and, 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 um, and boosting local production, uh, picked uh, a team of, of uh, people who are involved in the business in, in, in production of content took them to, to maybe Hollywood or something, of courses. People learned how to do very good quality uh, videos. People learned how to write scripts. People learned that their brains were opened up and, uh, and it helped that industry grow. And I think that is probably something that we also need to do in, in, in this country, to, for the government to come in, find ways of, um, of helping these local producers who are, who are barely surviving, find a way of uh, giving them some a package, something so that it can help them propel them into in, in into this into the future where they want to be. Because when you talk to these guys, you realize, I one of the big big production houses here we have is called Wakaliwood. The guys are doing um and are doing kung fu in Uganda, are doing uh, action packed movies in, 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 um, in the lo local dialects and they're being consumed, you know? But then you realize they are doing so much and, and yet there's not so much help they're getting from it. And, and I mean, we, we are also trying because what we told them is anything that comes to us will come straight to you, we won't keep anything. When someone buys a movie, you take all the money. We, we just want to promote you. But then you feel like they need, they need a lot more help because then now, now their movies need to be promoted more and more. And, uh, and, and yet we feel it needs more players to come into this field to, to help out. So, yeah. Well, I hope the government is, is hearing this humble plea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope they are. Yeah, and for Isaac Nawana and his team, I've, I've, I've watched the Who Killed Captain Alex. It was quite mm. an interesting movie. And I think there's one called Capitano, which is the one which is on, running on your TV at the moment. Yes, 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 Capitano. They have many, yeah? I think um, from, 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 from uh, that side, Wakaliwood, uh, Nawana's company, I think we have of, uh, the, we had a week promoting their content and every day we were promoting five movies. So we have close to 30 movies from, and, and they are all very nice, interesting movies. It's interesting what these guys are doing with budgets of, I mean, when you go to their production house, you realize these guys are, the movies is being run on a budget of what? Less than a thousand dollars. There's no money in this industry, and, and guys are doing so much that uh, they're working with what they have. Uh, their wife is 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 in charge of distribution. The kids are the ones playing, and and he picks people from other places to come in and help out. It's interesting. Oh, this is just amazing. I, I even saw that he mentored one of the this one of the boys who who grew up acting is now actually also a movie director. One of the yes. boys in his team has, has so touched by the story how he, I've seen him actually grow up because from the time I first saw him on Captain Alex, then I've seen he's grown up. He's now also directing his own movies. Um, mm. I, I love the work that's going on. I really love the work mm. that's going on. And I see the future is going to be really bright for them. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, so apart from the concerts, what else should we expect for from your TV in the future? Oh, okay. I'd expect more innovation. Eh? Expect uh, more content. We were looking for um, interesting. That question is quite interesting because uh, we, on our roadmap, we wanted to create content specific channels. So think about um, a channel that is dedicated to wildlife in Uganda, a channel that is dedicated to culture, 
So, I mean, uh, imagine Uganda will have over 50 tribes, you know? So we have very many different cultures in this country called Uganda. So imagine if there's a channel that is dedicated to promoting culture uh, from the West, East, Central, North, all these tribes, they have something unique about them. So imagine there's a channel that is just talking about that particular culture, promoting that culture, you know, and the languages, the food, the, there's something unique about every culture. And when you, when we think about it, there's not, there's, there's, nothing has been done in promoting culture. In, uh, okay, I can't say nothing has been done, but there's a lot more that needs to happen. I mean, there are cultures out there that, 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 that you feel someone needs to go and, and, and film it and talk to people who are speaking that language. What do they eat? How do they sleep? There's so much out there. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm from central Uganda in Uganda because every time you try to, to, to pick content about my culture, you realize you have content that can last you months. So imagine you're doing this for the entire country. So one of the things that we want to do is um, uh, we want to create content specific channels, wildlife, music, movies, uh, culture, name it. Everything we want to create channels for youth, for the ladies. Uh, that's, that's one of the things we wanted to do. We have a, a partner who we were talking to to see how best we can create a, a channel for the ladies that you know they can consume their content on that. Um, we need a channel that is for the youth. Over seventy percent of the population here is is is, is youth. Uh, so we think we need to also create more channels that are specific to the different groupings in Uganda and, and, and innovation, like I say. So I think there's a lot more that, uh, that is going to happen. As we grow, we also want to be very relevant in this country. We just don't want to do the things that are working out there that may not be relevant in this we sell content. So if our content is not relevant, then we'll be out of business. So now I'm needing the team to ensure that we get, we are able to have the right people um, on ground, and we are able to 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 to, to think and and put together uh, uh, content that is relevant in this market. Wow, that is exciting! I just can't wait. Mm. <laughs> so, just imagine we would take you back to the age of nineteen. What would be the best advice you'd give your nineteen-year-old self? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite interesting, quite interesting. Wow, wow. Um, I think, yeah, it's, that's, a, that's a, a brilliant question because it makes you imagine the kind of regrets you're having right now and you think that if you went back 19 years to, to when you're 19, what are, the, what are those things that you do differently? Um, I think, um, one, travel the world, my God. I'll just tell my, my, my 19 year old self, you need to travel the world, you know, don't, 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 um, don't just be in one space and you think you know it all, travel the world, get exposure, get as exposed as possible, if you can, if you're able to, yeah, then read as much as you can, don't read, 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 you know, and take risks, I think that's one of the things that I've probably not done well, I've not taken risks. Take risks, I mean, calculated risks. I mean, um, think of uh, maybe going to Malaysia, go to some place somewhere, start up a company there, you know, just, just basically take calculated risks, you know, then be free spirited uh, and, and, and live a free life. So I feel sometimes we get we, we get constrained, we get, you know, and, and I think living a free spirited life is one of those things that, because remember again, at, at the end of the day, all we are doing, all we want to do is to be happy. And you realize sometimes your happiness is, is, is because it is what is important, then do what makes you happy. So, and I think for me, Live free, but but overall, travel the world. 
read, take risks, be free spirited, live a free life. I, 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 that's one of, that, that's what I would advise <laughs> my younger self. Bet your younger self would be excited to travel the world. I know, I know. <laughs> because I, now we are locked <laughs> up and we can't travel. <laughs> oh, God. Two years. No, we can't go anywhere. You, can't go stuck. anywhere. I know. It's, it's tough, eh? Yeah. So how would you like to be remembered? Okay. Yeah. Uh, from the other question, now me, it's it's about my me being happy. I know that's what everyone is uh, uh, but but then sometimes you want to be happy, but you don't want to do the things that require your happiness to come out at the forefront. Sometimes you do things to 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 make others happy, and you realize it's, it's, it's not at the center stage for the things that you're doing in in your life. So I remember as a man who lived a happy life by his own standards, you know. Uh, the other thing is, man, I, I, I never grew up with a dad, so I want to be remembered as the best dad ever, you know. And I also want to be appreciated. I mean, we're doing so much. Sometimes what we do is not for us, you know. Sometimes we are doing things, you know, to help other people out there. So I also want to be appreciated by by many people for the for the efforts uh, that, that, that I put in, I mean, within with the with with uh, the meager resources that we are all we all have, you're trying to do so much. So I think I want to be remembered as a happy as a happy person, a, a person who lived a happy life, uh, the best dad ever, and also the best husband, obviously, uh, and, and 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 to be appreciated as a man who tried. Who tried? And I hope by the time I am, I am, uh, I am of age, I'll be able to 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 write a biography. I hope, but yeah, we we'll wait and see. Great. Looking forward to the biography. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. I hope it's going to be an a thousand-page biography. <laughs> Ah, I don't, but I don't. I don't know that I'll have enough content to have. Uh, <laughs> to, but but uh, one of the things I love doing, by the way, I love reading biographies. Man, have and 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 okay, not reading, sorry, not listening, but listening Listen. to, hmm. to 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 yeah, to podcasts and uh, and audio books of biographies of so many people. Uh, it's it's interesting. So it's interesting to hear and, and to hear about what people have been able to achieve, mm. and, and 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 I think I'd I'd love to, and I wish we could also do something for 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 Uganda because there's so much, so many stories here of people like even yourself, Sam. We should uh, we should have a podcast about you, and it should be able to be consumed on a local platform like your TV channel. So imagine you have a place for only podcasts. So you go and listen to a podcast about this person called Sanka Mugisha. And then next day you go for another one, the Modwanas. We have so many interesting stories that, uh, that, that are born here that you feel should be in a place like, like that. Wow. I like that. <laughs> I like that. So as we wind this up, what would be your final remarks? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I know over the next uh, five years, I, I think we'll be seeing we'll be seeing very big movements in, in the way people consume content. Um, with our young and youthful population of Africa, I think I think um, consumption um, will mostly be driven on smartphones. Yeah, uh, uh, not just uh, content, e-commerce, so many things, uh, education, healthcare. It's it's. I think it's, it's what's going to happen. Not even in five years, it's already happening. But I think in the next five years, there will probably be. Most of most of the content will be consumed in, in, in our field will be consumed on these smartphones than on the terrestrial cable, digital TV on your TV set. Now those are going to go down while uh, consumption of smartphones, uh, rather consumption of content on smartphones is going to pick up. Um, 
Yeah, and, and, and I think digital is the future. And I think we are we are in the right space. I actually think your TV is we we it was a product for the future in this country. We 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 thought we it's like we knew what Uganda needed before anyone else. Because as we were going in lockdown, people now were looking for how to consume content and uh, we, were, we were looking for a convenient way of consuming this content that is that that is affordable and UTV was there at the time, you know. So I think I, I think that's where we're going and um and 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 I think the one thing that is needed is patient capital. We need patient capital in this country to so that the investment can go in the right spaces. So that where we in the next five years it's it's um you would find that someone invested in the right technology, someone invested in the right in the right team. Yeah, five years back, and now it's it's making a lot of sense, and and people are, are, are being able to consume these things conveniently. So I think I think your TV are in the right space, um, and and and, uh, and 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 I think um, we need more patient capital. So yeah, I want to thank you, Sam for this uh, opportunity. Yes, I think um, I'm looking forward to to hearing your story as well. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for coming on the podcast. Uh, yeah, my story is definitely coming up soon. <laughs> and I definitely share it over, you'll have a listen. <laughs> yes, that's very good. <laughs> very good. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Ivan, for coming on the Wow Factor podcast. And usually as I sign off, I, I alert the audience that the world is ready. Let's go out and win. Mm, that's, that's a good, that's, that's a good, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Thank you so much, Sam. The pleasure is all mine.